This is a story about a girl named Karina. She lives inside this purple house. This is Karina. She's playing on her computer. Speak louder. Hello? Who's there? I wonder what she's playing. Who's there? Come right out, now, yourself. I ain't scared of you. Right now, Karina's very confused, okay. wondering what's going on. Ah! <laughs> she's looking around to see if she sees anyone, but then realize that there's no one here and it's just her. And I all in her imagination. Me. It's okay, Karina. You keep going on with your life. I'm just here to show you your story. Tell everyone about it. I am the narrator after uh, all. Maybe I'm still She watch watches TV. TV, wondering what she should watch. She gets up and sits into another chair. Still, she still too close to the TV. I wonder if her parents ever taught her being close to the TV will make her go blind. Um. As she wonders, is that even true? So she goes close to the TV anyways and watches it. She still does not know why it's okay, only I'm on a green screen. She gets outside the house. Okay, she whoever's there, this is not funny. She's very confused on what she should do. She basically decides to walk around. As she proceeds to walk around, she's wondering, why? Where is she going to go this time? Where would her adventures lead? She just keeps on going. Her realizing that, she goes inside a car and drives away. As she drives, she decides that she needs to go to the store. So she goes. She crashes to a lot of places that she should not be crashing in. But she finally reached it to the food store to buy her some food. She goes into the food store where she sees a whole lot of people here. Questioning what she should get. I'm gonna go and get this yummy, yummy she decides to get to bread. Oh my god. Right. She picks up the bread and realizes that it's spoiled. Oh my god. She gets so furious that she wants to call the manager. Oh my god. I can't believe the bread is spoiled. Oh my goodness. I'm so angry. She has terrible acting skills. <laughs> I'm so angry that I can play guitar. She pretends that she's playing guitar while she's mad, even though she doesn't know how to play guitar okay. because she broke her last one. Uh, uh, mm, go and get banana she tries chocolate. to steal everyone else's drinks, realizing that hugging the fridge won't help her. Climbing it up also won't help her. But she tries anyways. She realizes. Can I talk? Time to get banana, chocolate, milk. And she tries to buy the disgusting milk. Okay. Banana, and strawberry, and regular milk, realizing that chocolate milk was the only good kind that exists. Me when I lie. Her realizing that someone spilled butter on the floor. That's cheese. Her thinking that the butter is cheese. Oh wait, that's butter. Her confused if it's cheese or butter. I'm probably gonna get this star fruit. Her buying fruit and she has no idea what it is, but she calls it a star fruit. Her realizing that she wants to steal everything from the store, so she tries to steal everything from um, the store. Anyways, hmm, I'm probably gonna get some rice too. Her thinking that that's rice, but little did she know, rice don't look like that. Shut up. I, don't, I know how to say it. What? Oh, hello. Bye. Alright. She tries to buy all the food. Realizing that she does not have enough money to I'm get any this. of it. I'm stealing this. She steals all the food. Her not realizing that consequences will soon grab her back. She drives back home, so no one will know that she stole food. She decides to enter inside her house, feeling very proud that she stole. Her realizing that she needs to put everything in the fridge. No, really? 
I didn't know her that. being sarcastic in every in every tone she makes. Alright. Alright. So time to put everything in the fridge. Her putting everything in the fridge. If only she knew that soon her house would be flooded. And she will ha and she did not pay the electric bill. So soon she owes rent. And soon, if she doesn't pay it, she will be kicked out. And get everything taken away. <laughs> Her doing push-ups on the ground. <laughs> I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I love the feet that people have do this to me. Come out, whoever you are. Her realizing that she doesn't know how to fight, and she's basically fighting nothing. Come out! I'm Her not... also realizing that she's going to be late for work. What? I don't have... She's ten minutes late from work. No, whatever. At least I'm home and I'm going back to sleep. Her realizing that there's no such thing as sleep inside a video game. I'm just going to that. Her real... She sleeps without covers. Who does that? She wakes up to realize that her house is on fire. Girl! Whatever should she do? Does she have a fire extinguisher? Stay. Oh, I got so this fire. She tries to show the fire who is boss. Her realizing that fire will win. Her walking in midair. Then teleporting back into her bed. She needs to act quick because the fire is spreading really fast. Does she know the three yeah. rules of what will happen? She sneezes. Okay. Um, what are the three rules of when there's a fire inside oh. your house? Stop. Mm-hmm. Drop. Yes. And roll. Stop, drop, and crawl. Perfect. But little did she know that this is a video game and nothing works like that. Okay. I need to use my power. I need to use my power. Oh, hey. She uses her powers to stop the fire. Somehow the fire stops and she does not have to call the fire yeah, department. Yeah, yeah, let's go. It's now she plays basketball, thinking that she's really good at basketball, but little let's did she go. know she got kicked out of the basketball team of how bad she was. Her getting mad. Her being really, really tall all of a sudden. Taller, almost taller than her house. She can't fit outside her door what's no more. The, and can't fit in and can't fit any of the rooms except what's for this happening? room. Uh, what's happening to me? She becomes a titan from what's Owl House. What's happening to me? She doesn't know what's happening to her, but sooner or later she's about to turn into something that we all call the ugly monster. No! What's happening? She becomes one of the what's ugliest happening? monsters ever. She can't even escape her own house. Everyone what's wonders happening? in terror. We have a new monster, of course. She estimates it picks up the camera somehow, and we don't know how. <laughs> she is very confused on what she does. I gotta go outside to see if there's anything She somehow before. exits her house, wondering what she should do. She tries to stomp on everyone's houses and claim everyone's houses as theirs. The she ever. also tries to run people over. <laughs> also, realizing that her car is uh, very terrible. And she tries to climb up a, a rock to try to get this person, realizing that cars can't climb rocks oh and that person is safe. Oh God, what's that really to me? She gets very confused on what's happening to her. <laughs> Little did she know, those carrots that she stole were poisonous and turned her into one of those beasts. Now, she's under attack, attacking everyone she sees in sight. Roar. No one can stop her. Roar. Only a superhero can. But this is Ropets. There's no such thing as superheroes in this town. Roar. As she tries to crash into everyone Roar. she sees, so starting with that pink I'm person so right angry. there. Now, she is very mad on everything she does, Roar. even though she did this to herself. She is now an <laughs> ugly monster, and no one, no one will befriend her now. What's the happening to me? 
The only thing that can help her is someone becomes a friend to this ugly monster. But who will want to be a friend to this ugly monster? She is now very, very sad and depressed and falls onto the ground, very confused and don't know what to do. I can't even lay down. She tries to lay down, realizing that she can't even oh lay God. down because of how upset she is. She realizes that she is doomed and she'll stay like this ugly monster forever. Oh. She cries in terror, wondering what she did wrong. What the? No. Even though all she did was steal stuff. Maybe that yeah. was the cause of it. She yeah. cries and cries and cries, wondering who will ever save her. She's very upset. Very upset. She wants to destroy this whole entire town. But what's the cause of destroying this whole entire town? She tiptoes in despair, wondering what she ever did wrong. I want to go back to my normal form. She wants to go back into her normal form. Really, really badly. Maybe the universe might help her. Maybe it won't. Please. She grows hair. Even please, though... Please. She grows a lot of hair. Realizing that she's probably going to be like that forever. No! <laughs> and there's nothing that she can do. No, wait. I can retrace my steps. She realizes that she can retrace her steps and figure out what caused this in the first place right. to see if she can stop it. I was it. playing on my computer. She was playing on her computer. And this narrator. And then this narrator. Oh, I can't wait. It could be the narrator doing this. She realizes that it's probably the narrator doing this. And the narrator realizes that they probably are in danger. They, girl, they did this to me. The narrator yeah, realizes that she's very upset by the narrator, so the narrator tries to I run away. I gotta turn. I gotta turn into a magical girl. She becomes one of those anime characters called Magical Girls. Yeah. Realizing so that you cannot girl. stop a narrator once your story has begun. The only way to stop a narrator is, well, the narrator will just move on to a, never, a different person. You can never stop an error. I right will. Now, I will stop them. You have no idea where the narrator is. I'm basically in control of your life. There's nothing that you can do. I am full in control. You can't stop me, and you will never be able to stop me. You can't even see me. You have no idea where I'm at. They think they can. They think they can. You taking the camera will not help you in any situation. I will come back. Uh, I always you. come back. I am the narrator. You cannot you stop me. This. You cannot stop me from writing your life. I write your life. I am your story. I am your story. You cannot destroy me. No one can. I am the narrator. I tell away. you what to do. I You're supposed away. to listen to my rules. I am the narrator. And I say for you to stop. We're I never. said I tell you to stop. I write your story. No. You're supposed to listen to I me. I never stop. Back you Germany. stop right now! The narrator is telling you to stop. This is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to Wait. listen to me. Oh my god, it's I working. wrote your story. I'm turning back what? to normal. No, that's not supposed to happen. I did not say for you to Rainbow. turn back to normal. What have Puppy. you done? Wait, Puppy. come back here. I am not done with you. I am still writing your story. You need to stay here. Come back here. You, okay, you cannot I stop me. Uh, have to. Ah! Delete. What? You delete. cannot delete the file. The only I way. I delete the file. Wait, no, you cannot delete the file. What's wrong with you? You can't do that. That's bad if you delete the file. It, it will destroy me. It will reset me, and I won't remember all the stories I created. I, I create. I create all everyone's stories here. Your story was next. I was going to give you a happy ending. Come back here! Liar! Come back! Oh, the narrator tells you to stop. No! Uh-oh. She stops. She stops trying to delete all the files from no, the narrator. No, I won't! She, de to she tries to stop. Delete. She stops the deletes. Delete! No! Delete. No, you cannot delete. do this! If you delete. do this, it will erase me! It would erase me! Liar! Delete! No! Oh, 
Oh, it was just a dream. Alright, let me see this one. Oh, the flails. Okay. It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Alright.